Hello all, I'm Dr. Casey Peebler. I'm the internal medicine doctor that works here at Integra Functional Medicine and I want to just welcome you to our channel. We're going to talk a little bit about today about what functional medicine is. So um, I'm going to do that by contrasting uh, and comparing uh, what a conventional medical experience may be versus what a functional medical experience may be. So generally someone will come to a doctor uh, when they have a symptom, right? So I'm feeling like I have gas or I have uh, diarrhea or I have abdominal bloating or something like that. It could be that I have low sex drive or maybe I'm depressed or I'm anxious. So you have some symptom and we have to know that that is not normal so we go to a doctor so they can help us, right? Well, they may give you a diagnosis of generalized anxiety disorder, they may give you a, a diagnosis of you know, major depressive disorder, they may give you a, a, a diagnosis of IBS or, or something like that. Generally, in order to get that diagnosis, they'll generally will work you up. Now, some of it can be done off clinical history, just telling your doctor what they, yeah, yeah, what, what you're what you're experiencing, and then them giving you know doing a, a basic physical exam and potentially doing some lab work in order to confirm their findings. That's generally how we make a diagnosis in medicine. So, that being said, in general, what we do in conventional medicine is we treat symptoms. Uh, it's it, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just you know I think that we're trying to relieve suffering. Definitely, it's just that that is uh, that's what we do. We treat symptoms. So. You know, if you're anxious, we give you an anxiolytic. We give, maybe we would give you something like Xanax, you know, uh, hopefully for short term, but something like Xanax. Maybe if you're depressed, we give you something like Zoloft or something like that uh, to, as an antidepressant. You know, maybe if you have an IBS type problem, maybe we give you something like Bentol or something like that. But the bottom line is, it treats the it treats the symptoms, but it doesn't necessarily treat the root cause. Let me com contrast that to functional medicine. In functional medicine, we, want, we, we say, okay, you have symptoms, we are compassionate to your symptoms, we don't want you to suffer by all means, but we wanna look a little bit deeper. We wanna say, okay, well, in order for you to have symptoms of any kind, you have to have some breakdown in your body's ability to function correctly, right? Uh, so, you know, maybe it's your hormone system, maybe it's your neurotransmitters in your brain, maybe it's your GI system and your ability to absorb things or, or excrete things or whatnot. Or maybe it's your, your liver's inability to detoxify you from either exogenous, aka toxins we take in from the environment, or endogenous, aka toxins we make uh, or metabolize in our own body. So if that's impaired, then, then you'll have some symptom. But even then, if we're able to say that you have you know, GI dysfunction or liver dysfunction or your brain's not working the way it should be working, it still doesn't answer the question, why do you have those symptoms? So we go a little bit deeper. And we go into what my mentor, Dr. Dr. Kalish, calls the four horsemen. And that would be inflammation, chronic inflammation that we don't want to have around their body all the time. It would be catabolic physiology. That's another fancy term for having excesses in cortisol production. And that can, you know, mess things up. It could be insulin resistance or another, you know, basically that your body's not able to process sugar very well. Or it could be oxidative stress. And the way that I always talk, think about oxidative stress, if I cut up an apple or an avocado or something, and I let it sit out, it's gonna turn brown. That same process happens in our own bodies too, but we have systems to protect against that. So if that if those systems get overwhelmed, then that can cause damage to those organ systems we talked about just just uh, previous to this, and that leads to symptoms. But like I said, even if I'm able to t figure out your you know your CRPs to the roof, or your blood sugars to the roof, or your cortisol is elevated, or your oxidative stress markers are very elevated, it doesn't really answer the question why do you have these symptoms. So our goal in functional medicine, in contrast, is to find out what the root cause is of your disease process. And that, that, that can take some time to figure that out. And it also usually a more in-depth workup. So for example, what we may do in, in functional medicine versus a conventional medical workup, we may do a history and physical exam, very similar to what your doctor is asking uh, and, and looking at. Um, we may ask you more questions. We may spend more time with you. And that's the luxury of, uh, of being in a functional medicine practice. You know, we do have more time to spend with the patients. Um, and then what we may do is we may look at your old laboratory studies that you already have, already have obtained. Of course, we don't want to reinvent the wheel if we don't have to. Generally, the, the conventional medical workup, depending on the type of symptoms come, someone comes into a functional medicine practice for, generally is a little inadequate for our purposes. So we may order additional tests. We may use urine tests. We may use stool tests. We may use you know saliva. We will, of course, use blood. Um, so we're looking at the body in, in ways that maybe you've probably never been looked at before. And then 
the goal is to connect those dots. You know, look at those, look at look at the look at the markers that we're we're finding there's abnormalities in. We're trying to connect the dots and how that relates to your history. You know, your childhood. Maybe you took antibiotics. Maybe you maybe you've been on steroids a bunch of times as an adult, um, etc. Maybe it's medication related. We look at the environment you're in. We look at all those things and we want to look at and find out what what the root cause or cause is for you is. And then generally what we do is after we connect those dots. Um, we want to put together a plan that addresses those root causes for your particular situation. So let's say hypothetically you are, I don't know, you have exposures to chemicals in your job, you have black mold that's going through your ceilings, you have you know, a, a, maybe a crappy diet, maybe you are under a bunch of blue light, maybe you have, I don't know, um, allergens or deficiencies or whatnot, and we want to look at those for your particular situation. We want to put those together, and then we we'll put together a plan that's going to address that root cause. So that way, the inflammation goes down, and the catabolic physiology goes away, and then the organ systems kind of, you know, regenerate. And, and then at that point, the symptoms go away. And at least in my practice, the goal of functional medicine, other than finding the root cause, is so you don't need a, a doctor anymore. You don't need you don't need medications. You don't need supplements. You don't need anything. You need you need just to live the life that helps you avoid those additional root causes and that you uh, feel better and you have a, a great life. So that is that is functional medicine in, in a nutshell. We're gonna go a lot more in depth into to this. We'll talk a little bit more you know, in, in future videos about what a workup may look like, like a little bit more in depth than we talked about, uh, you know, what, what, a, what a conventional medicine visit looks like in comparison to a, a functional medicine visit in, in terms of like when you actually arrive to an office, what happens. So just stay tuned. We're going to talk about a lot more in the, in, the, in the future about what functional medicine is and how it can help you get to be your best self.